Europe has a plan, announced the market early on Thursday morning, and uh, it hit all the expected headlines. Um, Greece bondholders are going to receive a 50% haircut. Um, European banks, typically southern European banks, are going to be recapitalised to the tune of just over 100 billion of capital by the time of June 2012. And finally, the um, EFSF, Financial Stability Fund, um, which currently has just around 300 billion euros into it is going to be leveraged um, quite a few times. The headline number is just over a trillion euros um, really to provide a fighting fund um, to protect European interests um, against, uh, against uh, um, uh, movements in financial markets. So um, all of this um, is largely to, to, to been forecast but the markets have um, moved positively and continued the extremely positive trend that we have seen over the course of October. Um, it's probably been lost on most people but um, stock markets both here in Europe and also in the West have, um, have um, really moved extremely sharply um, since October the 4th. Um, the FTSE has rallied from sub 5,000 to, um, to over 5,700. The move is approaching 20% and uh, you'll have to go back over 30 years to find an equivalent move in such a short period of time. This is the UK, um, similar move in the S&P index of US companies. And the US um, uh, equity market has been aided by two further factors. One is that their economy actually didn't do too badly in the third quarter, just, uh, third quarter despite a lot of the uh, difficulties in Europe. Um, we've had a uh, report out today that the quarter on quarter annualised growth of the third quarter um, is 2.5% and uh, that is a, a welcome rebound from the uh, slightly softer second quarter that we had that was inspired by the um, tsunami um, in Japan that uh, really left uh, uh, America going through a soft patch. Further in America we have um, had a good chunk of the corporate earnings uh, for the third quarter and a large majority of companies have, uh, have actually performed uh, better than expected. So um, US stocks certainly on fire and coming back um, at, say over 20% in, in, um, in October. Some also um, some other charts I want to just highlight the things that are moving in these conditions. French banks, BNP here is our lead indicator and we can see there that very sharp response from the October lows and the very sharp response today to this recapitalisation scale. Um, also currencies, um, as soon as we start to see the risk coming back into equity markets, uh, money moves out of the safe haven uh, currency of the dollar and um, is moving back into the euro. There is a very sharp bounce here back in the euro versus the dollar. Um, and it's been really just across most asset classes that as risk come back, comes back on, you do see some, some weakness in things like, um, anything like the dollar over that period. Um, European bonds, I, I feel, are going to be uh, continued. To, we need to continue to monitor European bonds quite closely um, for the impact of this uh, European plan. Here we're looking at the Italian 10-year bond. Um, it hasn't declined much. This is the yield chart. Um, yields are still rate running at about 5.8%. It's just shying away from the 6% level there at the moment. Not a material move at this stage. And what we would ideally like to see here, both in Italy and also Spain, the other economy that's under um, some stress at the moment in the bond markets, and both economies suitably large and would represent a difficulty to the bailout plan. Um, we'd like to see those yields really start to push back down into these sort of lower end of the ranges, hopefully of their own accord. Um, as I mentioned, as risk appetite starts to come back into markets, we'd like to feel that of their own accord these yields would come back without the assistance of this uh, bailout fund. Um, other things that are beginning to move to the upside as growth begins to stabilise a little bit and we've certainly seen as I say good third quarter numbers out of the US um, that a few things like commodities are beginning to bounce back. They were sold off very very sharply on concerns about global growth um, through to the end of September. They are responding very very positively to the developments of, of both the third quarter numbers and also the European stabilisation plan. And if we can drill down just a little bit further into some commodities that I feel worthy of mention. First of all copper. Copper has uh, experienced one of the sharpest rises and sharpest movements within a, within a few days that uh, has been seen on record. Um, the technical guys tell me that it's uh, three three deviation points off the um, of, of movement on copper. 
um, and likewise in the oil market we've seen WTI, um, the US equivalent of Brent, um, moving from a low of 75 back up through 93 at the moment. And if there is any word of caution over what is clearly a uh, more positive environment for risk asset assets going on and outlook for, for economic growth is that oil starting to nudge higher, copper starting to nudge higher. We haven't lost inflation, we haven't lost the fact that cost of living continues to remain very high and uh, if we had any benefit out of the, um, the slump in commodity prices during August, they're rallying back quite quickly.